Hello everyone. Welcome back to Sklearning. In today's tutorial, we'll be diving into Notepad++ and learning how to add a new line, n, using the powerful, find and replace, feature. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced user, this tip will come in handy for text editing and coding tasks. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more helpful tutorials. Let's jump right in let's start by opening Notepad++ and taking a look at an example text have you ever found yourself with a text document in Notepad++ where you needed to replace a specific character with a new line? Maybe you are working on a list of items, and you want each item on a new line for better readability. Well, fear not, I'll show you a quick and easy way to achieve this using Notepad++ I have a sample text here, and I want to replace a particular character, in this case, a comma, with a new line. Follow along with me as we go through the process. Here are some examples. To replace the character with a new line, we'll use the find and replace feature. Okay, so first I need to just zoom in the text. You can access this by pressing Ctrl plus H on your keyboard or navigating to the search menu and selecting replace in the find what field. Enter the character you want to replace, for example, a comma. In the replace with field, type n, where n represents the new line character. Click to extend it on search mode. Now, it's time to replace the characters. You can choose to replace them one by one using find next and replace or replace all occurrences at once by clicking replace all. Let's review the result. Our text now has each item on a new line, making it more organized and readable. This is a handy trick that can save you time and effort when dealing with large text documents. And there you have it. You've successfully learned how to add a new line in Notepad++ using the Find and Replace feature. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.